deep in the shadows I know it's hard to put one foot in front of the other ah, ah. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is C Chronicles. If you're joining us for the very first time, I post fragrance related to content, especially Middle Eastern fragrances on this channel. And if that style of content is something that you like, please do consider clicking the red subscribe button and joining this family. Now to those who are returning, thank you so much for the continued support. Do check out my second channel as well, C Chronicles Unscripted, where I focus on my life outside fragrance reviews in form of vlogs, as well as uh, Western fragrances. And that channel you're going to find in the uh, description of this uh, particular channel the link is right there i also have a second link which is a paypal donate link in case you want to donate anything towards uh, this channel as this channel guys relies only on adsense uh, for revenue uh, today's uh, review is going to be on this particular fragrance the triumph and sapphire uh, from the house of paris corner and this is of the emir edition guys if you've noticed uh, paris corner is on the roll they have been uh, making fragrances after fragrances and um, I do have an order which I'm waiting on I think it's going to take maybe a few days um, let's say maybe maximum up to a week of the new Paris corners there is one that has uh, what you call that caramel it's a very caramel based type of fragrance even the advert is so yummy and drippy and then there is some that are the, uh, the, the LV smeller likes and of course that rose of december rose or whatever yeah so i can't wait guys anyway the, the fragrance for today is going to be this one i've had it in my collection for a while this obviously draws this inspiration from bodicea's uh the victoria's blue sapphire right so if you know uh about a bodicea uh, you will know that the blue uh sapphire from their collection is one of the most popular fragrances or one of the best ones that they have in as much as they have a gazillion fragrances right there so uh for paris corner to weigh in and try that one it was interesting now, there's a host of notes that build this fragrance but i'm gonna zoom on the ones that speak the most right there is a host of florals there there's jasmine there is manolia if i'm not mistaken and that chamomile and this fragrance becomes more about that chamomile right in the lead there at the top carrying some citruses with it and with that chamomile you are going to get a mix of an aromatic spicy even herbal twist you know to this floralness right so it's going to come across as a little bit piercing there and that spicy accord or herbal or aromatic tone that the chamomile uh, flower carries is also going to have an underlying uh, fruity tone to it something that's going to remind you of apple and pear but it doesn't make this fragrance guys a fruity fragrance i'm just saying in case you get wafts of what feels like a pear or an apple uh it is bouncing off that uh chamomile flower overall guys this is a complex scent uh the profile in itself is very difficult to describe when i say complex in most cases i'm talking about a fragrance that has a presentation of a lot of things at the same time to an extent that it makes it very difficult to you know for me to give you a mental shortcut of what it is without uh, me losing you uh, but what I can say of course is it's an aromatic offering of a fresh fragrance it's going to be something there uh, that's going to come across as even underlying aquatic uh, but I think it's a tone coming off the citruses there and then that piercing spiciness there and um a little bit of some rose if your nose can get to it because there is a rose in this fragrance as well and all this guys is going to also have like an underlying greenness but very gentle there okay like a gentle greenness a gentle woodsiness it's a concoction that is presenting all the pages there uh, to an extent i can't come out right and say this is a blue fragrance i can't as well come out right and say this is a woody fragrance no can i come and say this is an oody fragrance and as much as there is oud uh, included in this fragrance guys uh, the oud or the was or the oud that I get in this fragrance are kind of starter oud some people are not going to even smell this oud because when I say starter oud I'm saying it doesn't present um, in that scarily oudy kind of presentation that a lot of people who have a problem with that particular note would shy from okay so it is a fragrance that's going to have 
Oud as an inclusion there uh, and woods, but those are not enough or not distinct enough to disturb this herbal accord that happens in this fragrance. This It becomes more about an aromatic accord and even underlying minty tone, uh, possibly coming from the sage because there is sage as well. So there is a use of a lot of complex notes here that build a rich fragrance, rich, but at the same time with wafts of a Fresh. Now, all along, I thought this would be an original uh, from Boricea, considering uh, not this particular one. This is a clone. I have to make it uh, clear. But I'm saying all along, you know, following the Boricea fragrances and all, I thought the Victoria's Blue Sapphire was one of the originals. But after reading around that fragrance, it looks like it draws its inspiration from Abdul Samad Al Karashi's uh, Al Karashi blend okay of 2009 a lot of people seem to say have smelled this dna before you know in that of al karashi a fragrance that was uh, dropped in 2009 now this one is a 2013 composition so it just goes to affirm guys that uh, the fragrance companies do draw inspiration from each other i've always said this you know time and time again so uh it it will be entirely up to your pocket uh whether you want to buy the al karashi one or you want to buy the bodicea one but i think the karashi one is a bit affordable it's not as expensive as the bodicea one uh, but it's entirely up to you uh back to this one the triumphant sapphire i'm i'm gonna say for what it is for the dna that it is uh i would say maybe uh try and get this as a sample to see if you want to dive and purchase the real thing i personally don't have the real thing to compare uh, but i can tell you that this was an awesome attempt just based off what i'm smelling here because it's a fragrance guys that uh presents that uh, spicy aromatic herbal minty uh, tone of a fragrance with wafts of a freshness wafts of a citrus a little bit of some oud going on in the background something that's gonna even uh, come across as a bit fruity a mix of a little bit of everything even ozonic uh, that sort of thing but nothing clashing really just adding up to what what feels like a fragrance that is certainly drawing its inspiration from a complex fragrance oh it has that those wafts of like an aquatic tone to it it's a rich enduring type of fragrance and i think it is the aromatic persistence in this guys uh, that gives it weight it's tying everything there uh giving it a depth as well and making this one project uh making this one a beast to an extent i've kept mine for two months straight because i wanted to make sure that i do not bring this fragrance guys without making sure that it has blended uh to its full potential i think it's still going uh, but i think at this point in time it's something that i can say is semi you know almost where it's supposed to actually be it's going to project you're going to get compliments from this fragrance it gives me a dna uh, that is unisex but some because of that aromatic nature of this fragrance might find it leaning more masculine uh to what extent i'm going to say maybe 65 70 percent masculine but i get a fragrance that is totally wearable there are also uh traces of what feels a little bit middle eastern you know in this fragrance maybe because of the complexity of it the fact that it plays around uh, with oud it plays around with woods but do you know take note that i did say that these are gentle the spices are going to be there but there is something that's kind of uh, wrapping this fragrance around to make sure that it doesn't stray or become something that is annoying that could be maybe what manolia is doing because manolia is good at that you know at um even giving like a waxy wrap up to everything so it could be that that manolia uh, then does its best there to make sure that it ties up everything and makes sure that there are no stray bullets here during the wear of this fragrance so that is paris corners uh, rendition guys of uh, bodicea's uh victoria sapphire and theirs is called the triumphant uh, sapphire so if you wanted uh, a shot uh, or at least if you wanted an idea of what that fragrance smells like you could try this one more so that that fragrance i think is upwards of um maybe plus or minus 600 pounds so uh if you want to try that or you're looking for a fragrance that's going to make you decide whether you need it or not then this is a good shot i know for certain you can get pirate's corners at aroma concepts and uh, we'll also put the link to aroma concepts in the description uh, but i just hope they do you know improve their distribution lines because often when i bring paris corners there's just two things that you guys often talk about the pricing of paris 
Paris Corner and the accessibility of the Paris Corner. So I do hope it's something that they look into. Uh, but some of the offerings they are given us, I think, say for instance, if you are to pick this one for $40, it would still be worth it considering that it's going for a fragrance that's upwards of about $500, if you know what I mean. It's lasting power is going to be eight hours, somewhere thereabout, depending on the number of sprays. It can potentially last the whole day. Unisex tone. This is an all year rounder. You can wear this summer, spring, winter, even, you know, the coldest of winter. In the comment section and let's discuss more about this fragrance and some of the Paris Corner releases. See, Chronicles is my name. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. Do turn on post notifications on both my channels. That way you get to be notified anytime I upload a video. Meanwhile, like and share this one, guys. And remember that smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.